that. There, look. They've trimmed the desk up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Andy. Happy birthday to you. Don't stick on the candle. Yeah, you can't blow them out. No. Yeah. Yay! Congratulations, Andy. Thank you. You made Hi. it. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Say so, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> 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 That's it, I'm done. That's the Ponto. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is birthday. And it was what do I want? So we've gone for the high carb option, which is triple cooked chips with crusty bread with salt and sea salt butter and steak and kidney pie. And Helen's slow cooked the steak and kidney, and we've all tried a bit of the gravy. Oh my god. So my dad's bringing in a oh. bit of a present hang from on, on, a bit, on, a bit of on. a present from your mum, your dad and Annalise. <laughs> That's a present from mum, my dad and Annalise. What is it? It's, it's a cake. cake. It's the Death Star. Cool. Hang on, how did they get that shipped over? Well, who oh, knows, but my dad dropped it and it's rolled off. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. So, while I was driving it home, it rolled, what, rolled over. Oh, right, okay. It rolled over. So that's. From, oh, is it peppermint? I've got no idea. What that's it? I don't so know. That's, that's, oh, what, that's me. Oh, that's you with the peppermint. And exactly. she said, do not smash your face into it because it's got big pointy sticks pointy inside. Sticks inside. holding it together. Right, come here. <laughs> There we go. So that's the Death Star birthday cake. I think it's cool that cake. It is. That's different. <laughs> it was in the box. It was in the box. I put the box, I put the box behind me the driver's seat while I'm driving home. And I've got out of the car and I've gone, whoop. <laughs> it rolled over. Well, it's a ball, isn't it? This is a I'm guessing it. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is going to be. So here's me. Think, you were saying it was a new thing with. I don't like no, I was thinking it was Star Wars, thing. but. No, oh. Oh, they've got all of them. Oh, cool. So, my present. Your can paper. Be, can be swapped from Valencia ah. to here. To Granada. Ah. Granada. Oh, a, that's a place in Spain down Just south. Show her what my card says though. Old farts. Old farts. Wet farts. <laughs> Them as well. <laughs> ah. Ow, ow, Is ow. that in Granada? Yes. What is cool. It? Yeah, from his mum. I didn't see all that um, video either. It's actually really good in, it in, is. in Granada. Okay. It's Thank you. Nasty. It's come from... Um... I need to tell mum thank you. Yeah, it's come Thanks, from... Thanks mum. Jessica has my. It found that just 14% of women are paid or lower skilled jobs. What? What? Wait, 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 w
baby pool con concreted. Hi guys, welcome to the weekend. Sun's out, gun's out. No prizes for guessing where I am. I'm going to take you for a quick jaunt around so you can see where things are and how things have progressed. Uh, if you hadn't guessed already or you hadn't noticed, I am actually at the Oasis in San Luis. The guys are absolutely going like they're clappers. The plan is for the pool to be open on May the 20th, give or take. That is what the plan is, that's what they're aiming for. As you can see, the team from Casas Espana, they've cleaned up no end. All the trees are gone, everything's been cleared out. It, the whole place looks a hell of a lot brighter. There's a lot of people that's never seen it like this in years, absolute years. Now, the other thing as well, just so that you know, is as of today on the Oasis Facebook page, which is uh, the Oasis San Luis, if you do a search for Oasis San Luis or do a search for uh, Oasis Torre Vieja, it might come up either or. Um, on there and on the website, which is oasissanluis.com, are the prices for the pool. So those of you that have been asking about how much it will be to use the pool, etc., the prices are on there. There's prices on there for day use prices on there for uh week use and two week use there's also concessions that's going to be available as well we've been sent a load of wines that we've got to test for the bar to see which ones are going to use in the bar and the restaurant it's a hard life somebody's got to do it hello bob why are you here bob hi bob i'm here because my daughter's invited me to wine tasting now Claire is getting some practice in at trying to open bottles with She doesn't need practice. Crappy she's bottle just openers. She's reminding herself how to use this bottle like now that's all. <laughs> the beers that's gonna be in her place that is actually her place and actually his place is Amstel. Amstel Heineken. Heineken. Amstel Heineken. Gareth told Helen that she was supposed to spit the wine out when she tasted it. With the palate with some water. Don't waste it. That's exactly what she said. No point wasting it. Now, that's a, that's that, nice what's that one? That's a, that's a Palacio de, de Nido again. Yeah. And, and that's a bubble. Do you know something? It's, the, it's a Them two. Well, yeah. I never drink white or rose. Yeah, nice, I quite like both of them. They're not bad. In fact, I would, as I'd say, they're possibly the. Uh, I think they're possibly best white reds I've tasted but then again I've never really that whites and rosé. Red wine, Helen's been trying to get me to appreciate and like red wine for eight, nine years. Okay. Now somebody that does appreciate red wine is me. We need to give Alan and Sher congratulations. Happy anniversary. Yeah, hope you have a good one. Well done for getting to that stage. Cheers. Uh, did they say 35 years, yeah. 34 years? 38 years. 30. A long Listen, time. Listen, any more than my 10 that I had in the past is doing well. Put it like this. Yeah. If they'd have okay. murdered each other, they'd have been out by now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary. I don't know. See you soon. Ah, there you go. Love you too, Anne. Here's the other thing as well. I also want to say thanks to Yasmin. Oh, yes. So Yasmin and Scott, who we know them as the stranger couple, but actually they're, they're the cages. So brilliant band over here. I want to say thanks because uh, they're actually working on a little variation a jingle for, this, a jingle. for the Oasis. So cheers guys. Pity you're not here, you could have had some of this. So these two are the more expensive wines, but we've got some more expensive ones than this as well, which we'll try in a minute. These are both Riocas. It's a white and a red, I'm gonna say white and black then. <laughs> it's a white and a red Rioja, so we'll try them. Is that hitting the spot? Yeah. yeah. You can do that all day long. Cheers. Yeah, Hiya, Bob. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite noisy in here, but it's noisy in here because of the fridges and freezers. We're actually in Iceland. I've been watching Iceland on Facebook because they're starting to get the deliveries through. And if you just look, I'm just going to spin around. They've actually got... Oh, well, they've stuck, the shelves are stocked. Uh, yeah, proper, proper stocked now, more or less, give yeah, or take. Selection. 
good selection. So those of you that's been waiting for your English stuff, I mean, we, there's not that much that we'll get from here nowadays, uh, mainly double cream. Um, but yeah, worth popping down and having a look. Last weekend, I cut down the amount of video footage from about three hours, three and a half hours down to what we did, which was about 30, 40 minutes, something like this. This is my dog, Alfie. Look at him, happy as a pig in poop. Ain't very well. Bless him. He's got a heart condition, um, and he's now, he's, he's, what's he doing? He's filling with he's he's, liquid, he's isn't it? He's filling with fluid, but actually, it don't look as bad as it did last week. I think it's gone down a little bit. Yeah, the only problem is I've got, now I've got to take him into the, uh, I've got to take him into the vets on Monday, so that, because we've got to ramp up his drugs, shall we say, Hello. ramp up his drugs so that it might affect his kidneys. His kidneys. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So you're having a fish skewer, aren't you? Yes, right. Look who's so with us. Got... Hi. We've got... Oh, wait, I've been doing a YouTube vlog today. Have you? Yeah. On your channel, which is... Um, Madison Naylor. Yep. Yep, she Look ruined it. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. That as well. Ah, look, she got top ready for Disney. Where from? I think it was from uh, Inside. Where from Inside? Which is a shop that they've got one in um, Abenera, some one in Lazenia. But I think it was 9 99 But it's nice quality, and it feels nice. Hello. Hello. I don't know if it's going to be too garlicky raw. This, it's got. I put a bit of garlic and a bit of parsley in it and some chimichurri sauce. Looks garlicky. It looks like dodgy. garlic. Is it nice? That'll be a yes then. I don't know if I want raw garlic. Oh. That's got more than oh. just garlic. Yeah, but that garlic burns. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. I, you know, I'll eat mm, raw garlic. Nice, but it's got, it's got more than just a so plain garlic. Then, yeah? We're having a barbecue. That is chimichurri sauce. But I've put extra garlic and extra fresh parsley in it and a bit of oil. That's it. And I'm just going to marinate some meat. That I'm making two different skewers. So the one with the chimichurri sauce is going to have um, fillet steak. Is that uh, the one for the meat one? Yeah, right. pork loin and duck breast on it. We're having a bit of a special barbecue tonight because it's still Andy's birthday weekend. And then I'm doing a fish skewer, which is going to have garlic, parsley and everything's garlic. Garlic, parsley and a bit that. of lemon juice. And on that we're going to have monkfish, salmon, tuna and prawns. So we'll see what it's like. Um, I'm just going to do the I'll not be on the salmon, don't like it. Always looks nice. Still don't like it. There'll be some footage from yesterday when we were testing wines. Go and lie down. For the Go. Oasis. Now, I'm going to jump back a little bit. As an aside, because we've done so many videos, a lot of people's quite new to the channel, so have a look at our back catalogue. You'll see quite a bit, and I'll put a link in below. Uh, in the description and also on the website. This weekend's a recommendation for you to go, go back and look is if you look at our summer staycation basically it's a video that Helen put together which is a combination of little bits from lots of things that we did and saw and experienced last year here in Spain. It was all in Spain wasn't it? Yeah. So recommend you go and have a look at that and see what you think. Back to what I was saying yesterday we were tasting wines in fact we've actually got them here we were tasting wines for the the oasis in the past we've gone to a restaurant that we like it's really good it's called portico mar and there's i'll put in the description uh, there is a review for portico mar consistently good never ever ever had a bad meal there and i would say personally possibly would I would say it's the best dessert I've had in a restaurant? It is a lovely dessert. I think, them, dessert, I think them desserts that we had the other week in... Um, that's what Punta Prima. Punta Prima that's were, were as good as. That's what's made me stop because all of a sudden I thought, well, hang on a minute, the ones at restaurant Punta Prima were as good. So they are, it, it's a quality, they say it's cake of the day or cheesecake or something. It ain't cheesecake. It is bloody lovely. Anyway, the reason I'm getting to is 
on their menu del dia which starts at something like 15 euros the red wine we think is a humia we know valerie that works there really good guy always makes it if you've got a party or a birthday or some sort of celebration recommend you go portico mart really good they make you feel special mm. food's really good menu never changes their wine we think is a humia now it comes out of the barrel um, we more or less think that that's kind of the standard that you want for the house one, isn't it? Yeah. For, for the Oasis. And it's good. And we're going to try it. We've had this, so you can see this is in the Demi. Demi John? A Demi Jar. Uh, no, it's, it's um, a carafe. It's a, sorry, yeah, it's a carafe. It's in a carafe. <laughs> it's in a Demi John. It's one I pulled from under my bed. It's a bedpan. And we're going to try that once it's been it's been in there for a couple of hours we're going to try that and compare it to the reds from yesterday uh and see how we pay, think it compares and now i've got a barbecue to clean because it's a uh, because we were lazy and didn't clean it last time which is disgusting it should have been cleaned my fault it's always my fault listen everything's your fault of course it is Right, so this is what? That's for the meat. Oh god. The marinade for the meat. It's, and it's chimichurri, chimichurri sauce. Nice. That's nice, yeah. that, isn't it? I mean, the, the garlic will burn off mm. when well, it's the, gar it's the garlic will um, lose its uh, burn. I'll tell you one thing we do like is when we do stuff like this, and whenever we do stuff like this, and people actually try it themselves. Yes. So, um, Tony, I think to Tony uh, Tony's one of the followers on Facebook, I believe, and also on YouTube. He's today, I think he's in England. He, he didn't actually say where he was, but I think he's in England. He Hi, guys. Did, he did say we're in England because he said that in uh, Sainsbury's yes, all over England. Yes, he did. So, yes. Um, they're making a paella. Watch the videos and they're going to have a go at it. Hopefully, he's going to send us some photos. Now, uh, the salmon that we're using is not like salmon out of a tin. It's not salmon. Not, I said salmon. It is salmon. Oh, you mean oh, tuna. tuna? Oh, the tuna. But that's the tuna's the same as tuna. Uh, the salmon's not like that. It's another tuna. tuna. As well. and so that, it's like tuna steak. And the gas the front. Yeah. That, that tuna for three big pieces like that costs six euros. So this is the monkfish. And when you see it in the supermarket, it's a big ugly fish. It's got a huge head. The head comes sort of out to this distance. Looks with like a, it's been run over. a massive mouth. But when you buy it off the fresh counter, you pay per kilo, and that includes the price of the head, and you don't want to use the head. So in the freezer um, compartment, in both Mercadona and Carrefour, you can buy monkfish tail, which is this. Uh, this piece costs 5 97 It's quite a chunky fish. All the way along the middle there, there's a piece of cartilage which needs to come out, so I'll take the fillet off of each side but then no bones. It's got no bones in it apart from that one bit of cartilage. But like I said, if you want the whole fish, that's great, but it has got a massive head and you can't lose the heads, can you? I haven't said that. There was something we were watching. Oh, we, I think it was, uh, was it red tomatoes, green peppers, red peppers, green tomatoes, what? Ready, steady, cook. Somebody did, they did monkfish cheeks. The asparagus, by the way, is on offering... Carrefour. Carrefour, but it's only the, uh, the thin stuff. But look at all that lovely fish now that I've chopped it up. How much is it on offer for? 120 something. 129 a bunch, I think. It was 199 a bunch in Mercadona. Yeah. Midnight at the Oasis. I am so glad there's no karaoke right now. A pair of them. So. So. A deer, female deer. No, that's well, dough. No. <laughs> so a needle pulling thread. <laughs> right, okay, so the skewers have got pork loin, fillet steak, and duck breast on them. And they're in a chimichurri and garlic chimichurri garlic and parsley sauce. Hi guys, somewhere different, typically Spanish, I've never been before, the rest of the guys have been at some point I think, uh, but this is Manolo's. 
Yeah, it's going to be it's typical Spanish, slow and steady. Yeah, but that's a, a nice way to eat, especially when it's nice outside like this. So, those um, croquettas. Peppers, no, they were croquettas. They were peppers. They were peppers. They were peppers, not croquettas. We have ordered croquettas, but yeah, they were not but there. They, they felt like they, they, they got like um, well, they, on it. Or but they were lovely. Really, really, really tasty. I'd have them again. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you know what the croquettas are like. But they're all homemade, so it should be good. <laughs> kids, have, kids have had nothing yet apart from bread. Yeah. We'll show you the chapitos when they come because like, they, they look like spiders in breadcrumbs. They're nice, they're lovely. <coughs> I think I inadvertently had one once. No. Tasty, we always, we tasty, always, very, very we always have to tell them that yeah, Andy <coughs> won't eat anything with eight legs. Got my big piece of squid there, look. Alexa, mute. Probably could do that with lots of things. Yeah, you. So that's another weekend over and done with. Um, thank you for watching again. It amazes me that people actually find us a little bit interesting. Nearly five hundred. Maybe now. not. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe do. Yeah. yeah. We've just got to speaking say, of which. Yeah. A quick hello to Pauline, Pauline and Dennis Herring from Chesterfield. Not far uh, from where we're from. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We'll keep posting you lots of nice pictures and videos of this part of Spain because we know that you love it here. Yeah. Well, we've got places. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can't fault them. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it really. Nothing so, else to say. Thanks a lot. It's nearly weekend again. So we'll By the time you guys see this, it'll be nearly weekend again. Yeah. He'll not even start with it. Yeah. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments. If you've not enjoyed it, please leave us some comments with the. Yeah, we're still getting them. Yeah. If you're going to put. If you're going to do that, tell us why. Yeah, at least. Let, us, let us know what we're doing wrong. Then we can put it right. Or oh, tell you. And we'll Thanks, see you again soon. Yep. That's it. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Ring that bell. And that's it, Asta, as I just said. Asta Pronto. Asta Pronto. Should we turn that bit, last bit again? Asta Pronto. Asta Pronto.